I didn't quite see you there, old chap. Anyways, uh, welcome to the cartoon mod. We have a bit of a scuffle and a ruffle, a bit of a skirmish, you might say, down in the South Sudan, and so the British Empire has seen fit to put me in charge of it. And yes, that is exactly what we're going to do. Uh, there's a, um, a religious fanatic calling himself the Mahdi, and uh, I am, I've been sent to deal with him, uh, the British Empire way. Um, so yes, let's go ahead. There we have it, the Oriental Campaign. Uh, Bedouins? No. Pfft. Ottomans? Definitely not. The Mahdi himself? No way! Let's see. What does it say about this so-called Mahdi, my enemy? Because, uh, you know, the, they always say, don't underestimate your mate, your enemy. But then again, I am the British Empire, so I kind of do that, so maybe we shouldn't read this. Hmm. But, uh, we don't know anything about him. Why don't we read a bit? Um, I am the true Mahdi. Okay, right there. Let's stop right there. True Mahdi. Pfft, what are you even talking about? This, uh, on my cheek is the mole between my teeth, the space. I have, what? What? What are you talking about? You absolute madman. A mole apparently gives him the, 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 the form of, no, this will not be. Uh, let's see, at Cairo, Mecca, Baghdad, blah, 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 the Egyptians are strangers. I'm not your enemy. Pfft, you are my enemy. You are the enemy of the British Empire, and I did intend to destroy you. Right, there we go. Oh, Queen Victoria, God save the Queen. There we go, yes. Yes. Um, campaign difficulty, uh, the highest, obviously. We need a bit of a challenge. U United Kingdom, the constitutional monarchy, a nation of free trade and personal liberty. Yes, that's exactly it. British Empire. God save the Queen. Right. Let's go ahead and uh, start this campaign and get right into defeating the so-called Mahdi. And... Here we are in Egypt. My armies have landed my expeditionary force, and the object is to get my forces. We can see right up here in uh, the. It seems like the Mahdi have uh, forced him well, so forced him, forced his way all the way to the sea. So he's he's made quite he's oh he's made quite a bit of um, of gain here, but. We have Chinese Gordon, God save Chinese Gordon, Charles Gordon, also known as Chinese Gordon. Oh, what a splendid fellow. He is holding out down here in a fort with, he's got some machine guns and he's got his friend, or the, the general, I guess, no, Colonel, Colonel John Donald Hamill Stewart. He died in 1884. What? No, that was last year. That cannot be. Psh, fake news, I'd say. Even in British Empire days. Um, right. First things first. Something's on fire. Let's put that fire out. Uh, let's concentrate our troops. We've got some troops here. Need to reinforce. Uh, yes, Wolsey. Wolsey need your more orders, men. Not entirely, entirely sure what these guys are doing out here. Uh, they can't Lord. get any further. But yes, we've got this force right here, so we're going to take the good old British troops. What do we have? Fifth Dragoon Guards. We have the Royal Highlanders. And we've got the 42nd Foot. The, oh wait, 42nd Foot Infantry, Line Infantry, 8th Regiment of Foot. There we have it. Oh, the 2nd Regiment of Artillery, Royal Highlanders. Uh, yes, there, there are a lot of them. Anyways, uh, let's walk out Waiting here. Waiting for orders. And, uh, More orders. Organize. Wolsey need a lot of men, and uh, I don't think Wolsey has enough just yet to march on Cairo. So we're going to hold back on that. Let's see it, what the populace like. Oh, they're very unhappy. Now you can't actually see it, but there's quite a bit of unhappiness here. But uh, um, I guess we'll just keep these fellows in here. Uh, they're a bit unhappy here. How may I? Serve? But we've got this, this fop. It's completely useless. He's 36 and he's got 
uh, no uh, trains whatsoever. But if he goes in there, oh, at least the nobility is a bit happy. And I do believe we have a spy. Yes! E Irvin Dudley. Irvin Dudley, you will go ahead and spy, because right now we can't actually see what's going on Awaiting here. Awaiting further orders. Ah, Mardis warriors, armed populars. Your Majesty. We'll take those guys down, special. and uh, looks like the rest of this area is undefended. Very good. Um, the problem is going to be down here, I imagine. But we do have this nice fort, which will protect Chinese Gordon and his troops. Look at all those stars. Master Gunner, legendary leader, darling of the gutter press, leader of men, strategist, strong defender, and great general. Very good. And so, Colonel John is as well. Colonel John! Just like me. Maybe that is me. Could be. Yes. Um. But uh, let's go straight into a battle, shall we? Maybe. No, we'll, we'll, we'll probably need some more men. Oh, we're already recruiting some more men over here. Nice. Um, but, oh. We are, in fact... We're gonna get the um, we're gonna get this uh, fleet. Let's get them out of port and get them sailed to our headquarters on Cyprus, where we are gearing up to have a secondary attack to go against the Ottoman, because the Ottoman force is apparently at war with us as well. I guess they joined in with the Mahdi. You know, but mus all Muslims think alike apparently, so they all uh, ganged up on me. Except for the, I guess the Bedouin, but the Bedouin, you know, Bedouin, Bedouin. I guess they just, they're uh, protectionist. They don't want to interfere with anyone. As long, as long as we don't touch their desert, they don't touch our desserts. <laughs> yes. Right. The swine rot in the sty. Oh, they're rot in the swine, you say? Well then, no better time to strike, Lord Kitchener. Good. Sir so, Splendid Fellow, this one as well. He's courageous leader, leader of men, drill master, darling of the gutter press, and a great general. Good. Let's go ahead and strike. Prepare the troops for battle. Make our first strike against the Mahdi and his forces. So we've got Mahdi's warriors. We've got some uh, Islamic dervish mob, some fuzzy woozies, armed flintlock uh, populace, and some armed populace. Right. Let's go ahead and strike them. Right, and so we are, right outside of town, and uh, this is my army. We've got artillery here, and then uh, the line stretches out of infantry uh, all the way, all the way over there. So, what we have is, in the middle, we have a lot of these Sudanese troops, or Sudanese fellas, uh, indigenous troops uh, that we get from, that we recruit in Egypt. Uh, but I've decided to put on the flanks some proper British troops to uh, keep the lads in order. So what do we have? We have the 9th Regiment, 42nd Foot, right here. Uh, very nice looking fellows. And then next to them we've uh, got the Royal Highland Regiment, 1st Regiment on Foot. And uh, here we've got the Sudanese fellows, um, very nice looking chaps them as well and behind here we've got the general Lord Kitchener himself look at that a splendid mustache look at that let go cl real close on him um, right and uh, he's on a camel or something no he's actually on horseback it's the other one the other fellow that's on camels and then all the way over here on the right side We've got the 1st Regiment of Artillery, York and Lancaster Regiment, and we've got two of those right here. And then even further to the right, we've got two units, the 4th and the 3rd Regiment of Foot, Duke of Cambridge own cavalry. Very nice, nice looking helmets with a nice bit of uh, stuff up there, and it's very nice all around. And, uh, yeah, let's go ahead and prepare our attack on the town. Let's bring up the command structure so we have the map so we can know where we're going. And we've got the troops right here. We're going to start off by telling the cannon to hold fire as the line advances. And then I'm going to go ahead and select. 
all the line infantry troops. And uh, first things first is we need to advance towards the road. And uh, we'll see what the enemy responds to that. So let's go ahead and get our troops marching. Uh, and toggle guard mode. So here we go. Forward, lads. This is this is a colonial experiment. No, an experiment. Expedition. It's an adventure. Savor every moment of it. You're in the land of pharaohs and kings, and we're about to uh, conquer it for the British Empire. Oh, the enemy is spotted. Let's see. So we've got quite a few of them back here. It's some armed populars. Uh, yes, two units of armed populace moving through town. Uh, then what do we have here? Ah, we've got the... Derivish, or the, the Fuzzy Wuzzies. And we've got their... Uh, the Mahdist banner. And then we've got the proper Mahdist troops are placed on the right here. Take a closer look at those guys, those fellows. This is how they look. Um, if... Seemingly, none of these have any rivals whatsoever. It's only the armed populace, the people of the town, or even just one unit of the people in the town that has uh, outdated flintlock muskets. So this seems like it's going to be a pretty one-sided fight. And we're going to open up the fight with artillery bombardment. Let's go ahead and uh, follow one of these projectiles. Oh, I did not get to follow the projectile. We can see the impact of it. Kaboom! Did we get anyone? We got one guy. Some, uh, some shrapnel. There he is. Cut asunder. Oh, now the muskets. Oh, no, the muskets. The, the Martini Henrys are opening fire. Very nice. They don't stand a chance. Not only are we outnumbering them, but we've got the um, amazing firepower by the British Empire. So the enemy is shattered already and is falling back. There is a bigger concentration coming for the center. Uh, let's hope to God that the Sudanese fellows hold the line. Oh, the enemy is retreating. But now the armed populace is turning up. Where are the ones? There's the musket ones. The only one that really can do us any damage. But they are already falling apart. By artillery fire and the sustained uh, and glorious fire of uh, my regiments. They still push forwards even though they've lost most of their men. Oh, there's only 13 left of them. And now there's only four. Uh, two, I mean. And th th there we go. Now there's not a single one of them. The unit was absolutely massacred. And uh, these guys, though, they're hiding behind the hill. So uh, time to send in the cavalry. The, the Duke of Cambridge own will uh, go ahead and charge forth and uh, get these guys and dislodge them from behind the hill if the artillery is not able to do that beforehand. We can see the artillery striking at them, throwing all kinds of hot, nasty shrapnel across them. But still, they, the enemy persists. Oh, th we are actually going with the flag bearers. We got the glorious British flag right there. Oh, I think we're we're with the officer because I saw the pistol hand. Yes. So we're right next, and we got the flag on the next to us. Let's go ahead and remove. As much as possible here. So here we are. Let's see. Follow the pistol bullet into an enemy. Let's see. It's going to go right in the arse of that one. Ooh, right in the back. And the enemy's just standing there. That's the thing with religious fanatics. Um, they think the god is on their side when clearly it's on the British Empire side. This bullet passed... Uh, the fellow, and uh, we missed. But uh, that's... Uh, well, half of the shots have been fired. That have, uh, ooh, look at that. The artillery... Oh, look. 
Oh, that guy ran into the bullet. <laughs> Unfortunate. The uh, unit is now broken. I will tell the artillery to hold its fire. Hold your fire, artillery. Oh, the battle. There we go. The battle is won. Hold your fire. Then the lancers will hold the fire. They will prepare lances and uh, charge the enemy down. I do not intend to uh, have to come back here and fight these men again. So we will completely destroy them. Charge for the British Empire! Oh, there we go. Even one fellow flew up into the air. We're a bit. We're far back from the uh, from the actual fighting, but as we can see, it's not going particularly well for them. Right. Let's see. Where is it? Over here. Yes. There's only about 35 of them left, and I think that's that's about it. Very nice. And uh, yeah, let's go ahead and end it right here. End the battle. Very good. And here we are, looking, uh, overlooking our victory. Uh, we have uh, deplo we deployed 1815. The year of another great victory. So that maybe that was indeed why we succeeded so well. We lost, however, five men. Not to the enemy's fire, though. They accidentally uh, there was some accidents in camp. One guy accidentally. Uh, put his hand down a boiling pot, and so he was put out of actions. Uh, four others uh, apparently sk skirted off into town to ha have about it with the local girls. So, um, there we go. So there, no one was actually killed during the battle. However, for the enemy side, they were all uh, destroyed. There was none of them left, not a single one. Uh, we didn't leave anything standing. Um, not even their, their favorite... Uh, uh, camel, their uh, the uh, regimental camel of the enemy. Right, uh, very nice all across. Let's see who did perform the best. The Sudanese fellows actually did pretty well, but we placed them in the center, so it's um, it it favors out that. But uh, you know the uh, the accuracy of the British uh, troops uh, probably uh, yeah did pretty well. Oh, Lord Kitchener actually managed to kill three people somehow. Not entirely sure how he managed to do that. Um, uh, I guess uh, we uh, he, d he did something spectacular while we were watching something else. So there we have it. First victory for the British Empire. And we've secured part of uh, the territory that the Mahdist has taken. And uh, now it's only about going ahead and ending turn. And let's see if maybe the enemy will attack Gordon at his fort. So, uh, rapid succession there. The Mardis didn't actually do anything. They did go ahead out here and took that bridge. And they left some out here in the desert. Not entirely sure why they did it like that. Oh, I've got another ship. That ship will also follow and move to our headquarters on Cyprus where I'm gonna build up build up a bit of a garrison before we um, actually go ahead and launch something against the Ottoman force um, let's see did I recruit troops here yes they're on the way these troops as well but now these guys can go ahead and join Woolsey and so Woolsey could could proceed towards uh, Cairo but uh, there's quite a few enemies at Cairo, so that doesn't seem like a good plan. Instead, Kitchener can actually go ahead and continue on to Cairo. Now, the populace here is pretty unhappy, because as I said, five of our, four of our soldiers went into town and had a, had a bit of a, had a bit of a time. Had a bit of a, a bit of a, a bit of a good time with uh, some of the local uh, lasses. And, uh, yeah, we need to uh, send Wolsey there to uh, make sure that they do not cause any more problem. And uh, with that, let's go ahead and uh, take Cairo. So the enemy is a bit 
better suited here. They've got some mortars. Uh, they've got two uh, proper generals. They've got some uh, cavalry. They've got a lot of uh, Mardists. Um, Libyan Bedouins. And yeah, lots of uh, just riffraff, really. Let's go ahead and uh, destroy them. Thank <laughs> you.